Is that too loud for you guys? No. Nah. I'm going to put it up to, to there. How's that sound? Good. Decent enough? Yeah, it's good. Well, let's check and see how, how, how the light's doing. Oh, yeah, we've still got a decent amount of decent amount of light. Oh, right on. There you go. Now, it, it's, it is a video as well, but mainly we're focusing on the sound here. Okay. I hear you. It's way too loud for me. Wait. You can turn down to your, your end. Is that better? Try, try, try it. Try it now. Try, try now. Try now. Is that a bit better? 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 Yes. Yeah, a little bit more. A little bit more? A little okay, bit more? Okay. That's perfect. All right. How you been? I haven't seen you in a while. I and mean, occasionally I see you here and there. But um, do you know you still have your YouTube video that you, of you singing that beautiful song about uh, going on a holiday in a, in a car and driving and... Dreaming as you're driving and things like that. Do you remember? Yes, I remember this song. This was at, uh, I think it was at, um, at Udi Moody. You guys, you played once. Yes, once, and since then I didn't play it. <gasps> <laughs> no shame. If I if I need to record, I'm going to turn to you. <laughs> no, I remember a little bit. Of course, I. You know, you rem I remember that night because I was there recording it, so I get to relive it whenever I want. It was a beautiful night when it got, when it got up and sang, and I had some really nice footage of you singing that night. These were the days. These were the good days. These were the days when... Hey, man. It's, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it might come back again. I mean, I, it, it will. In fact, I think maybe um, after everybody being locked down like they've been, I think everybody's going to have... Um, Kind of a vigor about them about now, like uh, let's not take things for granted because you know, no, it's going to be snatched away. It's from so them. nice to hear someone say that finally. Yeah, that it, out of all of this, the one thing that could come out of it is the sense of being grateful for what we have. Absolutely, I definitely. Think that's the I think, biggest takeaway. I think we, uh, I feel like we, we really kind of just ex expected things to stay the way they were. Mm -hmm. And uh, we took it for granted. I took it for granted. It was just a given, like this is normal life. And then when all these things were taken away from us, it, yeah. it makes you realize, like, like I mean, even just yesterday, the, the new rule coming in where you don't have to wear masks. I oh, know, like, man. Fuck, who would have thought, if 10 years ago someone said to me, you know, there's going to be a day when uh, a rule is going to come in where you don't have to wear masks and you're going to feel like it's a new beginning. I would have been like, what? Masks, you you what? thought it was crazy. Who, what? Who, big deal, right? But no, you live you live with these restrictions after a year and a half and it's incredible how much it, it makes you do feel. And I was thinking about this too. Um, my being an American, this is an important... What? Can I roll a cigarette? Um, it might have gone missing somewhere on my yeah, You were saying? Yeah, what I was saying was, um, am I being an American? Um, today is a very important day, Fourth of July, and um, of course. And then I was thinking about how interesting it is that the max, the masks came off the day before our celebration of independence. It's like a, 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 it was. People have been saying it's like the the real the Hungarians Independence Day happened before Fourth of July. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the, in the context of it, we've managed to get back to normal, we've got our independence back again to a degree. To a degree, but I, I don't think there's a there's not really any restrictions now at the moment. Not that I know of. Not you can go in without a card. You can go in without a mask. You can go on public transport without a mask. I still see people who are with masks. And I, That's I going to keep happening. Far less, though. Happening. Like, I was surprised. I thought a lot more people would be clinging to the mask. Um, the, the, you know, people get used to things, right? And when I got on the, the bus yesterday, Yaz and I were sitting on the bus, and one or two people had the mask on, but everyone else 
did not. And I was like, okay, all right. I think masks will be a thing, like kind of like in Asia, like a lot of people in Asia wear masks as a kind of like a... a well, you know, even even before um, even before this uh, this COVID situation happened, you would still see people. You would still see people like uh, a lot of the Oriental people walking around yep, wearing masks. Yep, yep. In China and in Japan, I noticed. And I would kind of mock them a bit. I'd be like, "What are they all worried about?" You know. And now, like, I think that it's just maybe that's just a thing that's going to be a bit more common. I think in hospitals and things, the masks will probably be a well, thing. Well, I think the I think in hospitals the masks still apply. They right are, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 I, I wouldn't be surprised if that stays that way. I, actually, I think you're probably right about that. Actually, hang on, Otis, if you don't mind, I'm going to run and, and find my ciggies. Okay. And uh, you keep rolling. You guys keep chatting about whatever you want for, for one minute, and I'm just going to go find my cigarettes. All right. So, what you what you do? <laughs> Waves are ours now. Uh, I was thinking about what's the difference between two things actually. What's the difference because Hungarian, I, I, I wouldn't say that it's an independence day because it was a, it was a fight for liberty. But Not right now, boy. It, it, was, it was a fight for liberty. Which we won, but uh, I, but I then wouldn't the, say it's in But then the Russians came and cracked down on their heart again. So I wouldn't say that it's equal with independence. It's day. not equal. It is, it's a little different. It is a little bit different. So actually, Hungary doesn't have independence day. What I guess you could consider... Um, what is the what is the the uh, holiday when it was uh, like uh, King, King Eshban started uh, formed the country? Yes, he formed the country. And what and what is that called? The Hungarian mm -hmm. the celebration of the state found that Al Hungary never really had to win independence from anyone. They just had to kind of form. They formed. And that was saying Isfahan, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. 1000, year 1000 or yeah, 1001. Yeah, something like that. I think Isn't that right? I think before him as well. We just changed a lifestyle. But I wasn't there, so I don't know the details. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Very true. And I have another question for you. So. Of course, you have seen the movie mm -hmm. with the American Americans fight with the aliens. But Independence Day. Yes. So, what do you think about it? Is it really happened? So, it's a double celebration for her. I thought that was a horrible movie, and and no, I, was so I was so disappointed. I was so disappointed because I had seen the the. Um, the trailer, trailer. For the movie and other ones and, and it's showing all the cool special effects and I'm like oh it's gonna be awesome Independence Day man but then it's like it, 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 but the, wow. I mean it was still great effects and everything it looked it was visually beautiful but then you have like um, you know Will Smith opening the cockpit punching it punch, yeah, 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 it's yeah, yeah, like yeah, come yeah, on yeah, man yeah, yeah. Jesus I mean, it was still a blockbuster to, to please the masses. Well, that's the thing. That's the thing about movies, though. I think it was funny. It was. <laughs> but it, it shouldn't have been funny, though. It should have been a more serious movie. It was serious. They but it was a bit light, maybe. They had humanity. The thing is, that movie was about Independence Day for the planet. It wasn't American. That's it was true. it was a very American. Uh, it was still American in the way it was represented. That, that's it was gung ho good, America, but yeah, it wasn't yeah. about America. But it was about the world celebrating independence from an invasion from another planet. Yes, you are right. That's a good point. I never really thought about it. Though. Yes, you are right. But I think it, it, it happened to come. I think in the film's narrative, it was happening over the top of July Fourth, or it was it happening was, yeah. around that time. So it was a chance to, in a, in a sense, it was a chance of saying, okay, we can celebrate independence as a nation, but ultimately, let's celebrate independence as a as a planet. Sure, sure. I, I think that was that was kind of what they were going for with that. But they but they dressed it up in very American, gung ho. Um, yes, because it started in America. That's why. First, or maybe I don't remember exactly 
Yeah, like I mean, of course, it was ta- it was an American film. It was uh, it was taken from an American point of view, and it was the. the I mean, if, if aliens did come and and attack the planet, it would be the Americans and maybe the Chinese, but definitely the Americans who would put up the biggest fight for humanity. Well, they've got they've got the they've got the the, the resources for that yeah. at the moment. They you, the bad aliens. I yeah, mean, maybe the Russians too. Well, I think I think um, I think there's something about like. Um, there's so much warring. I mean, maybe a, there's not hardcore wars going on right now, but there's a lot of skirmishes. A lot of people are angry and over trivial bullshit, as far as I'm as far as I'm concerned. Oh. And I feel like um, if there were aliens and we knew about them, maybe that would make everybody in the world put down their petty squabbles. And that's what he says in the speech, man. He says it's time for us to, to move on from our our smaller issues. And who said that? In the speech, the 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 president. What America, president? In the movie, he gets up and he does this big speech, you know, about it's time for us to put aside our petty squabbles and to unite, and to and to uh, you know to fight the bigger the, the bigger issue. Here. Oh, that's that that's a good message, I guess. I didn't I didn't real remember that. I, I was just so disappointed because every time I see a movie, when I go in thinking it's going to be excellent, and I'm let down, it's like, you know. I'm, it's better to go in with no preconceptions or expectations of yeah. what it's going to yeah. be. Have you seen the last Star Wars movie? Uh, I did see it, and um, it had a great message at the end. Really? Have you seen it? Yeah. Yes, it was a very good message. The very end of the movie. What was what? Because in your opinion. The, sorry. In your opinion, what was the message at the, the end? Me- the message was. <laughs> I think uh, it, it's what we are living at the moment and uh, the bad people who the Jedi's have to fight with, the... Sith, uh, the Republic. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, the, 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 uh, what are they called? The first, the first Order, the old Empire, the bad guys. The bad guy, who is... Uh, the Emperor. Uh, they call them the Sith, uh, the the uh, yeah, the boss of the Sith. Who yeah. was that? Oh, uh, um, the the Emperor, the Emperor, Emperor Palpatine. Yeah. yeah, so he is sitting on the big uh, throne. Throne, thanks. With a lot of technology, technology on his head, and joined to everything he said, and the Jedi come and kill him. That's a good thing. <laughs> That's interesting because not, not a lot of people talk about that movie in terms of its message. I, I, I thought it was a. L- I it's a message because it's good to hear there are people who are fighting against this because it, it's not a Star Wars movie, it's what's going on. So, Look, I think I'm, I'm, I'm. Let me pick up on what you're saying. When you talk about bringing technology into things and how technology is kind of dehumanizing people making them a lot more robotic in the way they behave and a lot more addicted to screens and unpracticed un- 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 at normal conversation and face-to-face conversation and you know in the original films when um, when Luke Skywalker cuts off uh, Darth Vader's hand and sees the stump with the wires hanging out and understanding that you know his father's become more of a machine than he is a man that also for me was this idea that the more corrupt you can become, the more of a robot, the more of a machine, the more of a machine mind you you, you become in that sense. And then you lose that touch with humanity and, and, and grassroots and, and flesh and uh, and the corporal and, and what's natural. And what's nat- and he re- natural? He, and he realises that in that moment and he realises that all of these addictions to power and, and to and to strength it really is kind of corrupting the the what's natural for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really absolutely. don't understand why certain people would like to um, own all the power and rule the world. I mean they they don't have any other things what they like doing. I mean I wouldn't have time to control the whole world because I have a lot of things that I like doing, so <laughs> I, I don't understand these people that only one thing is on their mind to control everything. 
then this is uh, a little bit sick for me. I mean, sick for, for mentally from their, sick. From their side, yeah. I think because they don't like doing anything. I mean, it's so strange. I, I, I think they, they're, they're so invested in their own beliefs that they believe that everyone else should believe the same thing. And therefore, if everyone does and they have control over that, then they're validated as the ultimate source of knowledge and, and, and way of living. It's like um, this, uh, this movie... I think it was called. Um, I had I had Jet Li in it. It was a Chinese movie, and uh, the, the the character in the movie who's the king, the emperor, who the Jet Li character actually secretly was meeting with to eventually assassinate because he was a tyrant. The king, his defense was this idea of all under heaven, all under one roof, all under one sky in that if everyone believed the same thing there wouldn't be conflict and that's what he was actually going for and there is sense in that but that's that means that there's an intolerance to anything that's that goes against exactly that's the that's norm, anti right? free speech yeah. i mean that's like uh, you have to do it our way or else that that that's supporting the idea that dissidence and um, and conflict is ultimately a bad thing that leads to war and leads to conflict and leads to bloodshed so everyone should believe the same thing, so that that's erased. But but what if what if what if these pe- if the people that are in power that, that are controlling things, if they're if they've got evil intentions or something? I mean, that means everybody's under the thumb. Now. What is an evil intention? Like uh, for these people who seek power in order to to control because they believe that's the way things should be. Is it for their own? If it's for their own personal gain, then yes, there's an evil sense to that. But so many of these people, I feel, believe that it's it's beyond just them wanting to control things. It's it's just that in order to gain benefit, it's actually that they believe that they're right. It's like any kind of zealotry. It, it, that's it, zealotry. It's um, when in in, in 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 that kind of. Um, in that kind of uh, what you're describing. Uh, um, sorry, what is that? A trick? Extreme belief. It's like a, a, a extreme belief in a system. Therefore, that's what anything other than that system is considered inferior or alien or uh, a threat. And so therefore, like you know, they're, they're they they think they're right, so they're justified in being. Uh, Control it. And that fuels their, their, their actions. Not so much that they're trying to gain from it, but that they just they just believe that they're right and then everyone else should believe the same thing. Exactly. So extremism. Extreme um, extremism in any religion, whether it's Christianism or... or, or sure. And not, uh, nobody should dominate everything. Uh, that, that's that's, that's we should not find the way the, to go forward. Yeah, exactly. It should be more about acceptance rather than... Yeah, I don't want somebody, I don't, I don't want somebody forcing their beliefs on me. Yeah. Uh, Glenn wants you to answer his messages. Glenn. Well, I'm sorry for interrupting. No problem. Yeah, so there is a difference between someone who wants to be a tyrant in terms of wanting everyone to believe the same thing so that there's no conflict because they think that's the right thing to do and someone who wants to control and have power for their own benefit. <laughs> and it's, it's, a hard, it's a hard line to... Dis- to well, you know, it's a hard dis- distinction to make. That, uh, the, 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 the most simple... The most simple thing I could say to that, to, as a response, is the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Sorry, what? It, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Yeah, yeah. It means that they think they're doing right, but it's eventually going to turn bad because they're snuffing out everybody else's voice. Yes, and also because of this, people can turn to evil. Instead of instead of uh, doing good things. Absolutely, absolutely. But that was a a experiment or research. Mm -hmm. Uh, When you research and make something, how do you call this in English? When you maybe an experiment. No. Um, Yeah, yeah. When they. When they make a test of you, if you turn to, so there was a, this uh, research thing that it's a test that if things uh, happen with you, what do you choose? You became evil or you try to 
stay on the way. Well, I, I think... Was this when they, they did this test where they this had someone a who was like a, in a room and there was a button and you could press it to make that person suffer, like get electric shots, and every, like, and normal people would put into, be put into this experiment and under these certain conditions about, like, like towing the line, mm. they would actually keep doing it. They would... That's make this person suffer. I, I can't remember the experiment exactly what it was called, but it sounds um, like something like that. But yes, there. Are, uh, I saw this movie. It was terrible. I think I shouldn't have seen it. But uh, I, yes, there was an experiment like this. Another one when uh, people were in prison, and uh, half of the team was the prisoner, and the other the uh, guards. Or Ah, the prisoner yeah, keep and the going. guards. Yeah, keep, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, and they started to being very rude and they started to kill each other. So that's, I, I wouldn't even participate in a test like this. This is, or I will be killed, I think, <laughs> if I go in this doorstep, I think. But, um, yeah, that's a tough movie. It depends if you if you're the type of person who wants to please other people. If you if you're willing to to please other people and do horrific things in that regard, then that's awful. It's awful. I always question how did how did the average Nazi commit the crimes that they did? They were still human beings. How how what 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 mechanism in their brain allowed them to commit such horrific acts and f and go to bed at night? This is what one of the experiments was kind of trying to explore. Like, okay, so you had someone at the top of the hill, or a whole bunch of people in t who were in charge of the whole movement, who believed certain things, but they weren't committing all the atrocities. They were the ones commanding others to do it, and those people would go ahead and do it. Sure. And the question was, what was motivating them? Was it fear? Did they not want something no. to happen to them? Was it a belief? That, that they were doing the right thing? It was a combination. It was a combination that they were afraid of being cancelled or whatever, but it's also that they thought they were on the right side. Yeah. And yeah. they felt justified in doing these things. The road things. to hell is, what did you say before? The road to hell is paved with good intentions. Yeah. There were, there were another uh, view of this because there is a movie about Forever Swing, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. And in this movie... Uh, What's it called? Forever? Swing Forever. Okay, what's it? Yeah. Swing like dancing. Yeah. yeah. Swing Forever. Yeah. And that was the first movie which could... Uh, which could um, explain me how could they do it because they had uh, schools and the little child, they started to an education why the other Jewish people are very bad, and they they grew up on this, and then they became uh, Nazis. This, so this if I were a child and they put me at school like this, I would believe it, yeah. and I would uh, probably I would do the same. I'm not sure about this, but that was the first movie which could uh, explain me. Forever Swing. I know there was a movie which was based on a book about a school teacher who had a class and as an experiment he tried to create like a their own within their class a new culture and uh, they had like their own handshake, they had their own symbol, they had their own um, belief system and um, it was a German film and it was about how far could this teacher go in indoctrinating this class, in forming a, a community within that classroom that, again, believed that they were the, the perpetrators of, of good. And, of course, it started with good intentions. The teacher was doing it as an experiment. But um, as the storyline continues... Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's just a beer, just a beer, a bashotti. As the uh, experiment continued, anyone in the classroom who was starting to think, uh, maybe I'm not that passionate about this, 
because the rest of the class were so passionate, they would ostracize those other people who weren't upholding their values. And in fact, at some point in the film, the teacher commands one of the other students, no, maybe not the teacher, but one of the students commands another student in that group to kill one of the, the ones who was starting to move away and they were willing to do it because they'd become so they become so invested in believing that they were a part of something that anything outside of that was either a threat or inferior and needed to be dealt with. And and it got out of control. It was like a I don't know if it was based on a real experiment and it seems similar to the one about the guards in the prison one that you were talking about and I want to do a bit more research to find out. But um it was, uh, it was another uh, exploration into this idea of indoctrination. And, um, you know, like they, they weren't doing salutes like this, but they had their own little secret code. And it's like anything. When you feel like you belong to a community and you see someone start to drift from that community and then by drifting, devalidating or um, not picking up your set of beliefs, then you instantly feel like that person needs to either be forced to come back or to be cut away completely. And that's again comes out of this idea of conflict and, 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 and difference is uh, ultimately a bad thing. Is what, the, what, is what drives a lot of these dictatorships and these, these, these fundamentalists and extremists. It's much harder to, it's much harder to sit down with two people who have opposite opinions and for them to get along. It's much harder. The easiest thing is for those two people to be on the same side. The hard factors in life is when you are trying to find the middle ground between two opposite uh, attractions. But it's the hard, usually in life, it's always the harder thing that leads to the better, well, in my opinion. Uh, for me, it's not that hard if I'm not... Uh involved i mean i can maybe not easily but i can make peace between two person if i'm not involved that's then the thing you have I'm, you have but you seem like someone who would distance yourself from that passion to be more objective yes and maybe that's why it is easier i think and also because i always um, I don't like when people arguing in front of me or start fight or something and just okay stop 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 and let's find a solution because I can't stand up arguing and fighting and that's why I'm trying to make peace between Do you try to make peace between um, people who fight? are in conflict? Yeah. Yes, of course, several times. Do you be, believe passionately in what you do? Sorry? Do you believe passionately in what you do? I don't understand the question. Um, in how you behave and in your belief that you should be on the side and, and to make peace, is that something you believe in? Uh, that's something which uh, came naturally. So I, I wasn't... Uh, so when... When you go into a situation and something happened unexpectedly and two people start to fight and shouting, I didn't think about it, anything, just make it stop. Mm. So if someone opposite you was actually trying to get those two people to actually fight, what would you think of that person? Which one? The person who's trying to get the other two people to fight. You've got four people, there's you and someone else. And then there's the two people who are arguing and fighting. You're trying to make peace. The other person opposite to you is trying to get them to fight. What do you think of the person who's trying to get them to fight? Well, it depends on the reason why he or she started to yeah, fight. Yeah, of course, like when it comes down to specifics. But just the basic idea that you are someone who prefers mediation and peace but then somebody else prefers conflict and, uh, and, and aggression. What are your feelings towards that person or their belief system? 
Well, I think uh, they are right until they don't have a knife and guns with them because uh, fight with words and shouting is, uh, I think, normal and it's uh, a way to get uh, rid of the aggression and anger from you and uh, it's much better than so until you are just shouting and uh, fighting with words it's much better than if you just collect your anger and and everything and without a, a word you just go somewhere and put a knife into somebody so i think until people are shouting is uh, okay but it's the actual physical violence that you draw a line at what is physical violence knife and fists and actual violence well uh, i have changed very much in the last 10 years maybe it's a good thing but maybe it's a bad thing as well because just a couple of months ago, there was uh, a situation in front of uh, the grocery store and uh, somebody said something to his wife. Thank you, Otis. And uh, they, they started to... Uh, it, so I, I felt that... Uh, that could come very bad because that was kind of people, gypsies, so they always have knife with them, maybe guns as well. And uh, maybe if I, I think if I were younger, I would stay and try and make peace, but the last 10 years uh, has changed me and I just went away. That's interesting because that's, that, that kind of hints at the fact that maybe you're, you've lost the energy yes. to try and um, to stand up to these situations. Yes. That you would rather just avoid it than, than become I, more involved. I think I completely lost it and uh, okay, did you lose kill it? each other and I'm not ah, here. So yeah, maybe, <laughs> did you feel like, do you feel like that you've... You, what you tried to do just eventually just hasn't it can't work and therefore you just throw up your hands and say that's it I'm just it's, there's, there's nothing I can do so I'm checking out I'm no I, I think uh, if I were me the 10 year younger than now and with uh, not all the bad things what happened with me in the last 10 years I think I, I would have tried to maybe just Yes, just what mm. you show me, just mm. lift my hand and okay, everybody calm down and stop doing this because just somebody call a bitch is not a big deal, so you shouldn't use the fight, uh, I mean the knife, or I would try, but now I just, okay, um, just walk away. It's funny because you, um, you make me think about Kendrick Lamar, he was talking, I think, Sorry, you Kendrick Kendrick Lamar is a, a hip hop uh, no, a rapper. Could you place a, a little bit volume? Yes, just uh, a little. Bit. Which one are you two? Is, um, that, is that is three? That, three. Is that better? Yes. Yeah. So Kendrick Lamar is a hip hop artist, and I think it was on an interview or something I heard that um, African American men they are very passionate about the race issue in America but they hit, he says that they hit a certain age maybe in their 30s maybe in their 40s where they give up on the fight they say they get too old they lose their energy to keep fighting and to keep standing up and to keep you know they become a lot more complacent we say complacent like uh, accepting but in a way that's like okay I can't deal with it it's not going to change therefore it's not, I, I don't have the energy to give to, to put up this fight anymore. So he would say that while he's young, while young African Americans are young, they've got to try and fight and, and, and bring their energy while they have it because there will come a time where they don't see the progress fast enough and therefore they just kind of put up their hands like what you're saying and say, I'd rather just walk away from it. Which is an interesting idea. 
which leaves it, I guess, left, left to the next generation to take up the fight. And maybe by incremental uh, inches, things will change, but it's such a long-term change. I think you should never give up the fight if it's something you believe in. Yes, maybe this uh, world already started to be too much comfortable for certain people. And uh, this uh, new generation under us. There's this expression, it is what it is, that I keep hearing more and more, fucking because of Azer probably, but like... Does he say that all the time? He fucking says it all the time, he's the one who introduced me to it. But it is what it is, like, in some sense I accept that, but in, but there's something in the back of my head that just that just kind of qu like quivers when I when I hear that. It's like, no, it, it's... It is what it is when you accept it as it is what it is. But I, don't, like I don't think when somebody says it is what it is, I don't think that's an... Uh, I mean, whenever I say it, it's not a... It's not necessarily... Um, I'm not saying uh, I'm, I'm give up, you know. It's just like it is that way, you know. It is that way right now. I don't think... I've never... T whenever somebody says that, I, I don't... I don't look at it as they've given up and they're not going to fight anymore. You should always fight for what you believe in, right? That's what you're saying. Absolutely, absolutely. If you have energy, that's the fight. thing. A fight, fight, a fight takes energy. It takes time. It takes. It, it, it's a, it's a conflict. It's a it's a it's an investment in in giving your. When I say energy, I mean your time, your thinking, your your emotion. And after a while, for me also, like there's only so much in the tank. And, and, and sometimes, maybe for a lifetime, you just have nothing left and then you just move that's on to other not, things. Maybe that's not the case because I had a boyfriend and sometimes we disagree in things and he always said, okay. And I said, what, what, what's going on? Why you don't fight? Why are you always saying, okay? And... And I felt that he doesn't have normal human uh, emotions. I mean, if we have an, not argument, but if uh, our opinion um, different, we start to talk about and maybe it's uh, going to be passionate, uh, I mean with passion, but still not arguing. But he, I didn't feel any passion with, uh, in him. He, he always said, okay, and I would like to uh, change uh, side of you. Yeah. And I couldn't with him, so after almost five years we broke up. But it's, uh, I mean, I would like to change experience and opinions, and it, I, I never felt in him the, the passion to, yeah. Yeah. to get know why I think that way. Or, let me ask you, can I try something with you? Can you take this and can you throw it over your shoulder and catch it with the same hand? What? Take that ball of paper and throw it over your shoulder and catch it with the same hand. I can do this. <laughs> right after this. Right. After this beer, and now, <laughs> what's the next step? This is an experiment. This is a little experiment. And did do, you know, do, you know, do you know when you no? There's no win or there's no fail. There's no uh, fail. It's kind of a difficult thing to do. Do you know? Anyway. Do you know about this? What, Have I ever done this with what you? Was, oh. What was the right, point gonna, of this experiment? Right, I will tell you. I'm going to spoil it for you because you've. Okay, do it. Hang on. Throw it over my over with this hand and catch it with the same hand. Mm -hmm. There is a point to this, so, and it is relative, uh, uh, relevant. <laughs> I wasn't even close. I wasn't even close. <laughs> now nah, look, going back to this experiment and going back to the point. Winnie the Pooh. Have you heard of Winnie the Pooh? Yes. No? Oh, sorry, what? The I character, the cartoon, the book character, Winnie the Pooh. Yes. And he's got his uh, his buddies, the rabbit, and Pru uh, uh, Piglet, Piglet, uh, and Donkey, Tigger, and Tigger, and, and uh, uh, Eeyore, Eeyore, and Eeyore. The donkey. So and each of those Robin was the human. Christopher Robin and, and, and the owl, I think there was an owl. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they so these characters are kind of representations of psychological uh, profiles, right? Yes. 
So you've got the you've got the rabbit who's very analytical. You've got the tigger who's very active and doesn't think before he acts. He just does. You've got piglet who is always seeing the, the always afraid and timid and, and scared. You've got um, the the owl which is always thinking too much about pontificating. We call it thinking about too uh, thinking that something which is really nothing is something big. Which and is this the rabbit? The the owl. And then you've got Eeyore, who's like the, the depressed one, who doesn't see the point in anything. And then you have Winnie the Pooh, who really is just... He's a very, is. A very much an optimist, I think. I, no, he's, he just is. He's well, not optimist, he's not negative, he's just, he just, like, he, he would... So the experiment is this, like, when you take, when you put someone in a situation, you watch, you watch what they do, you watch how they react, you listen to what they say. And you just sit back and you put them in a situation that they're not used to and you just watch how they react. And that's kind of what the natural, your natural instincts come out, right? Mm -hmm. It's never as simple as like you're all one or the other. But you, in this situation, when you're put in a situation where you're not sure what's going on, you either react in one of those ways. So with you, your first thought or your first communication was, I can't do it. But then you try it. You're, you just kind of just kind of just jumped into it, but you weren't like, oh, give it to me, I'll do it. You were just like, all right, I'll try. Yeah. And so just go away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so for me, when I was fronted with this, I was like, no, oh, I can't do this. Like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna that's fail. A fact. I'm gonna I fail. But, but, but that's no, the no, no. first. That's your first. No, it, it, it didn't came from mental things of psychology. Really, it's, it's a, a fact. I, I know that after this beer and. You don't know. You never, you never know. know. No, you never, you never know. know. So here's the Come point. Come on, believe it, me. I knew it. I know the odds are stacked against you to do something that's 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 you know statistically you won't do right. But it's 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 your your perception of it, right? That no, comes to the forefront. No, that's not my perception. You are wrong. Believe me. I just hmm. know it. Interesting. Interesting. I knew that I'm. I so you're a make realist. It. No, not at all. I'm a believer. I was. <laughs> you're still a believer. <laughs> all right. So if I said to you, do the same thing, but just throw it up in the air and catch it like that. Yes, I think I can make it. Well, who you're would the first person to challenge me on this? I like it. If you, if, who would you, who would you think? Um, your perception. Who who are you in that? In me, that, I was Piglet. I was Piglet. I was like, no, no, no. But do you do you, do you? Okay. Is there this, a right this, or wrong? No, 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 no. Disregarding the uh, the test, if you will. Um, what would you say without that? I mean, if you weren't saying, oh, we're basing it on the test. If you're just basing it on the characters, who would you think you are? Piglet. Mm -hmm. Piglet. I, I, my 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 first instinct whenever I'm faced with a situation that I'm not sure about is to, to fear it. I wish I was a tigger. In fact, the, the, the whole point is that, and going back to the sounding of your boyfriend, is that the Pooh Bear character, and there's a whole book written about the tail. I've got that book. It's, got in, it? it's in my other book. There bag. you go. So he's he just is. So my father is like him. So he when I would give him this test. He wouldn't think too much about whether this is impossible or not. He would just do it. And if he dropped it, he wouldn't care. If he caught it, he wouldn't care. It would just be like, oh yeah, that was an experience. He just is. So it sounds like your boyfriend, is, your ex-boyfriend, was someone like this, who's not passionate about anything, but just is. No. no of that type of character. Maybe he's not like that. But you made me think about this a little bit more deeper. Mm -hmm. Because... I read, I started to read this book, but I couldn't because it's so um, boring. But uh, I, I read the Winnie the Pooh and the Tao. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, the Tao of Pooh. Oh. This is what he's talking, this is what the we're talking about. Yeah, Pooh. the Tao oh. of Pooh. Not the tail. Tao. 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 T-A-O. Yes. And I, yeah. I read this and I felt that I already know all the things in it, and uh, and I always said this: uh, we need a poo. And now I realized because it's like me. Yes. So, and that's kind of when I was kind of seeing that. Because here, 
He seems very idiot, but he is not. He's not. No, he just yeah. is. He just is. Yeah, I, I, I started reading it too, and I thought it was a bit boring, but I liked what it was trying to say. And I did get a sense that you'd be a bit more like that. And in I fact, was. you kind of were, because you were like, oh, I can't do it, and you were thinking it, I'm thinking it. My first reaction when I hear that is like, you're doubting yourself, but yes, you're just being I became, realistic. I became a, I changed a very bad way to tell the truth. Do you, do you think that that change is permanent? Maybe I need 10 more years to cure. <laughs> or 20. <laughs> if it ever happened. But yes, it would be nice if it could be temporary, but I don't think I could. I, would, I wouldn't like to forget what happened. Some, of course, I would like to forget. But uh, no, I, I changed and I, I shouldn't have changed that much. Well, you know, did, did you think if someone would tell you 10 years ago, for example, that you would change, would you have believed it? Would you have seen it as possible to change so much? That much. So, why not take that t stance now? Isn't it possible because, in the future that you can that change also, also again? Because... Uh, I feel that something is uh, something has broken, which uh, can be. So you think so? It's like if you hold a crystal in your hand and you throw it, and then also put your shoe in it, and it became like just dust. Never be the same crystal again. Yeah, however, do you know what the Japanese do about that kind of situation? No. When they, when they have something like this, a precious glass that breaks. One point of view is... I, this love, this, I love this idea, what you're going to say. When you see something is broken, it's broken. It can't be repaired. But what the Japanese do, they put it back together, but they use gold to seal it back together. And... That whole theory is, the whole thinking behind that is, even though something's broken, it can be remade to be even better. Well, what they do, uh, what, what they're what What's thinking, it called? It's a, uh, it's well, got a, uh, there's a whole word, there's a word for is it. Is it, uh, it's not, um... I understand the point of it, but uh, if I think about my music, the first, uh, first... It's not Wabi Sabi, is it? <laughs> Wasabi? Wabi Sabi. No, um, Wabi Sabi. Uh, I think it's Wabi Sabi. Broken pottery, gold. Here For it the is. record, I'm saying it's Wabi Sabi. I wouldn't Kin say that. Kintsukuri. Kintsukuri. There, see, look. They uh, remake what's broken with gold. And I think that's something you should keep in mind. That not not everything is ever broken. It can be remade with gold. And and well, it's even more than that though, because they're appreciating the flaws of things. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't agree with you, because if I think about my music, the first when I am composing music, the first outcome is always the best, and then I can make it again, like it was. And always the first is the best. And I kind of agree with that. I'm not. I don't hundred percent agree. That, that's when the feeling is first uh, going through your yes, you mind, might, you your might. soul, and your body, and you 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 feel the goosebumps. There, there's a kind of energy in yes, that first time. Yes, like I was just a, a channel of between uh, earth and sky, and and I got this, and I feel this, and and then. If I try to uh, record it again, it, it's never be the same because I. So that's. But it's the goal. in stages, though, it's because like you might you might find that again in a different sense. Like, listen. It's a good idea, but it doesn't look that good. Nah, I don't agree. Listen. I don't agree. Too. I think I, I respectfully disagree because, for example, I wrote I came to Budapest to write a script. All right, that was my whole point. And only a couple of months ago, I finished the script. 
yeah? A script? A uh, story, uh, uh, a movie script. And for me, when I finished a script, I felt it was complete and it, I felt that energy that you're talking about. It was like, okay, this is it. But at the back of my head, I knew this wasn't it. This was just my personal um, sense of completion. And I believe it was complete. But when I shared it with other people, they were like, no, this is, this is not that good. For me, in my sense, I believed it was good. But when I wanted to share it with the wider community, they said, no, it can be better. And now it's, now it's taking a different form. It's no longer just my story. It has, I've already told my story. But now it can be something else. And it could be better for the wider community beyond just me. And that in itself, even though I might not like the final product, I think it'll have a bigger impact. Well, but, that, but, then, but then again, I mean, I, I, I understand what you're saying, but I think when things are like too many people are involved, it becomes like generic and watered down and it's not, it has to retain mostly the vision that you put forward. Yeah. It, uh, yeah, yeah. It has to mostly retain that. But, but yes, I mean, it, people can give you, and, and it's always good to bounce uh, artistic ideas off of other people. Yeah. Because they, they'll they make you think about things you didn't think about. Yeah, exactly. Yes, uh, I, I think you are, I, I can agree uh, if uh, you are writing something, because writing is very different, because I, I always can put something more in it. But with the music is something else. I mean, the music is like when a child born. You can make it better later. I mean, it is what it is, like Winnie the Pooh. I, I agree with you. As, um, mm. as far as music, mm. I think um, I think people oftentimes and get caught up in, in like redoing it over and over and over and it became worse and, and it's, worse. yeah yeah it becomes yeah, yeah. worse and worse well you just become jaded by it i guess well that's part of it too yes but i think um i think your initial uh impulses are usually the best one if you're trying to do something for yourself that's the other question is something do you want to create something to satisfy just you I never compose music to satisfy anyone, not even myself. I mean, it just came. But then but you, are, but you have a preference to be, to feel good about what you've made over feeling but you have to a, also average think about it. Sorry, no. You have a preference to feel good about what you make for yourself, rather than make something that you don't feel that I mean, invested I just, in. I just sit, no, I didn't invest. I mean, I didn't feel that I'm invested. I just sit down and compose music, and then. But you just I said that you it. prefer to have, like, you know, you, you, you know when something's right the first time, and that's what you, that, that sounds like a more positive experience than Yeah, later but down you, the have track. To, you have to consider about why you're doing things. Like, if we're talking yeah. about music, yeah. say, or, who's or, it are for? You, or, well, okay, is, who's it for? I, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's a healthy thing to say, I want everybody to love this. I think the more healthy attitude is to say, because music is about expression, and, and really yeah. all art is, but. Yeah. Um, Yes, it's about expressing yourself, and, and yeah. if you're lucky, people like it. Yeah, you know? yeah. But I, I never thought about it to show it to anyone. Yeah, but you wanted to create it to express something for your own gratification. To say that you've done it, to, to just, feel like you've done it. I just enjoy it, I think. So this doesn't sound like something that's broken. This just sounds like something that is, is, a, is a process. It's not broken. Yeah. No, it's no, no, it's not broken. I am broken. <laughs> no, you're not. I mean. You're a process. <laughs> it's a process. No, it's a process. You won't. You, you cannot stay broken. When you die, you still don't die. Your energy cannot be destroyed. It right. still exists. It's just you're 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 Somewhere you're less together. Outside in a far galaxy, maybe. <laughs> maybe yeah. Maybe you're just less together. But nothing that is cannot unbe. That's why I don't believe in, in, in non-existence. I think it's either one or the other. No, so, no. Something happens to us after we die. We don't know what it I is. Know. I know. I reckon. I reckon. I don't know what it is. No one knows. But nobody knows. But like, I don't. I, I, the but one thing I don't I believe in is a non-existence. I think it's I either one or the other, and we you're, clearly you're, exist. So you're some kind of something. energy after you're after you're gone. Okay, your body's done, but the soul, your soul. I mean, because it's like um. 
saw a very interesting um, a video today that Russell Brand did with uh, Ben Shapiro. Two very different thinking guys. Uh -huh. It was very interesting. And Ben Shapiro was talking about, like, what is your soul, you know? It's like mm. your body dies, but your soul becomes something else. It's just not mm. the kind of energy. You don't know what it is exactly, you know? I mean, different people believe different things. But something happens. We don't know what it is. Something mm. happens. Mm. Guys, I think we have to wrap it up because we're gonna we're gonna pack up the the terrace here at ten. All right. But this has been very very interesting. I must yes. say, this yes. is a highlight. Thank you. I'm gonna I'm gonna chop this into a, a nice. I think a bit, we've been going on for about thirty minutes, I think, and yeah. we've explored some very fucking good shit here. I think so too. Yeah. Don't you reckon? I enjoy. It. Thank you. Me too. Me thank too. You, and, and you're welcome. And and yeah. thank you. Thank you. For coming in and talking about this, and again, like this, this, this can go on forever. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many things that where we can explore. I, I love that you're doing this all the time when, when events are going on. That's so fucking cool. I Can wish we? people, I wish more people could like um, tune into these kind of conversations, which is the whole point of why we're doing it. Because some of the best conversations you have with people are sitting around having a drink and just. You know, no talking doubt. A, talking talking about whatever whatever is happening in our minds and in our lives, but you know, like everyday people, not these fucking celebrities who have written books and done their you know all of this shit. Just, well, just know, the everyday everyday person who's bringing their experiences to the table. That's well, that's what. Well, I'll there's a media about. revolution going on, and it's like, I, I mean, I, I follow uh, news uh, and and people doing news analysis and this kind of thing all the time. And I, I know that legacy media is dying. Mm. And it's going to be dead in a couple of years. And it's going to be... What do you mean by legacy media? I mean like... Uh, like um, You have to be in the notes and... ABC, to, NBC, yeah, yeah, Fox, yeah, yeah, yeah. CNN. I mean, all yeah. this stuff is... Citizen journalism away. is... It's the way well, to go. It's the way to go. Absolutely. There, there, is, there is a person sitting next to you who never follow the news. So everywhere I go, I, I'm, I'm a stranger. They, people look like me. What? Yeah, but you know. But then you know, you you you're, you you've you've contributed to a, a piece of media with which was good in a way because they couldn't manipulate me because I always had my thought about the world mm. but always felt isolated because of this because I I, I stopped reading the news or watching the news in the TV because I always felt that everywhere they they tell something as so there is no one thing which is true mm. so why I should follow mm. it mm. why I should follow any of it mm. so should. I just follow myself yeah. but you now have shared what you think and now that's going to be an influence to other people for good or for bad absolutely hopefully good <laughs> I think good I don't want everybody would be like me. It would be very annoying. <laughs> <laughs> so no, no under one sky for you. You, you no, would definitely, no, uh, definitely be not. a part of a, a part of a pizza rather than the whole piece. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to wrap up actually. All right, good night. Good night, everyone. Good it's night. been Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July to you, my Happy American of friend. July. Happy, Happy Fourth, Fourth of, of July. July. Lovely to now. How, how, how do you spell your name? Because I always mispronounce it. Um, and, and in Hungarian, I have to see words written now. My whole name is Austria, and O R. How do you spell Austria? O R S O L Y A. Jesus. Austria. 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 You're saying it Austria. You're saying Austria. For friends, I. I like Orshi. Orshi, that's it. That's it. Like, and my nickname was 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 uh, Oshi, Oshu, Oshua at one stage from my family. Uh, that's very similar. Ushi, Oshi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oshi, thank you, Oshi, for coming on. Thank you, Otis. We're gonna talk more, man. Absolutely. We're gonna talk more. I want to hear more about this music project and your your media ventures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we need to combine forces, man. Yeah, combine forces. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's, that's it. We're going to be producing media that, that Oishi can ignore. <laughs> <laughs> Not be affected. Uh, she'll dig it. So 
where can I listen this? Um, I'll, I'm going to chuck, well, it's on my Facebook page automatically, so it'll be the right, the, well, that's it there. So you can always check it out on my Facebook or go to Opesh, which is the other page it's published on, and then um, you can check it out. But I'm, what I'll do is I'll take the recording and I'll chop it up into segments. So it's, you know, this is a three hour thing. No, no, this no. This is for live. But that's like, that's for, uh, I, I've realized. Well, well, okay, this is my uh, yeah. my perspective. Yep. I have more of a, a of a willingness to sit and listen for a while, so I'll listen to videos that people put up that are like twenty, even thirty minutes. But I've realized that the, it's it's much better if it's cut down to like seven to ten minutes, yeah. or it maybe even shorter than that. You yeah. Know? As long as a conversation carries, like our segment that we've done for about I don't know, it feels like thirty minutes. We could take three 10 minute segments out of that. Talking about independence, talking about um, well, all the three things. Cut it, could down to bring it down to those three things, a 10 minute section. So I'm going to cut them up and I'll put them up on Facebook yeah, and you can so check we them out. Talking about movies. We we're talking about Independence Day and movies, and then we we're talking about the experiments, Winnie the Pooh, and now we're talking about media. So, yeah, so in that 30 minutes that we've done, there's 10, the there's 10 juicy segments up there. So I'll, I'll publish them on, on um, YouTube and Facebook with your permission. I'll send them out to you guys first so you can check them out. And if you're like, yep, yeah, I'm happy with that, then I make it public. Yeah? The thing that's beautiful about this is, like, you can talk for a long time, and the conversation will naturally go from one topic exactly. to another. And then yeah. you can, in the editing yeah. room later, you can make it, okay, this is where this part yep. was. And yep. It's funny. It's, it's, it's literally like, I'll start when we sit down. I'll forward, I'll go to 10 minutes straight away without even listening to it. I'll go 10 minutes later. And if we're still on the same topic, it'll probably last another couple of minutes. And then you'll find that there'll be another topic coming in. So it's actually... You know, like normal human conversation. A good conversation yeah. will go in many directions, right? That's yeah. right. So we're just trying to try and capture those those uh, those little snippets, all right? Oshi, thank you so much. Otis, thank you, bro. Cheers, brother. And that's it for us here at, uh, at, at Hoff House for 4th of July. Hope you enjoyed, if anyone was watching. If not, in the future, indeed, you've got some interesting, interesting things to, to mull over and to think about. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Happy Take 4th care. of July. Happy 4th of July. We'll be back next weekend.